Who do you think you might have slimmed down a little bit in the offseason? What, what did you focus on that? Um, you know, just being able to play longer minutes in games and, um, you know, I mean, I'm going to be coming down the 82 season or 82 game schedule here and, um, you know, just want to be a little bit lighter out there so that I can, like I said, just kind of maintain that same energy level throughout, you know, however many minutes I'm going to be playing tonight. So. How much did you get to shave off? Uh, I lost 10, 15 pounds, so feeling good. Lightest since junior high school. I'm sorry? Lightest since junior high school. Yeah, yeah, no, I, uh, I'm right down to about 215 right now, where uh, I was kind of around when uh, I went to college, so definitely comfortable with this weight, and um, I uh, feel a lot better in the ice. So. Can you kind of bring us up to date, what you did for the summer, and how, when did you come here? Just... Yeah, I uh, spent most of my time out in Ann Arbor, um, trained right at uh, USA Hockey Arena with uh, GVN, and then um, skated with Brandon Nerado. Um, great summer, you know, Took some really big strides on the ice, and um, you know, I was able to spend a little bit more time with some of my buddies from school, and um, so yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. And then went home for a week, and then came out here about two weeks ago, and um, kind of started skating with the guys, and you know, getting a little acclimated to the area. And, um, it's, uh, it's been great so far. So. I know you got to spend some time in Providence last year, but do you feel just in terms of life, this is a different stage in the school's year? Work, work, and the hockey is, is here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, for the last couple of years, my coaches have been telling me to, you know, enjoy college and, and that lifestyle because once you come here, it changes drastically. And um, I mean, that was pretty evident, you know, right when I stepped foot in Providence. Um, I mean, you, you really sort of take in that it is now a job. And, um, you know, I mean, people are coming for your position and you're coming for other people's positions. So, um, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you, have, you definitely have to be a lot more dialed in on a day-to-day -day basis and um, but you know I mean it's a ton of fun I mean to be able to you know play hockey for, for a living is, is pretty special and you know not something I take for, for granted. I was asking Ryan about your willingness to use your shot and he was making the point of in, in this league or to make the next step you really got to be talking in generalities you've got to be more willing to just fire and fire away you, you sort of come in there with into this with that in that spirit ethos yep. yeah yeah no 100 um, you know, percent i mean worked on my shot a lot this year and um, you know i've done a ton of video um, just you know looking at statistics of how goals are created and how goals are scored at the highest levels and um, you know i mean had you know a video session with um, you know Mooj a couple a couple days ago and we just talked about little things like that you know i mean it can just be throwing a block on that from you know the wall or or something like that that just creates so much havoc and leads to high-end scoring chances, so, um, you know, definitely a, a new skill set that I'm going to try to bring into the season. It's a bit of a small sample size when you're down in Providence, but what was kind of encouraging about your play down there and what translated to some of that actual offense? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously, got the first couple out of the way, you know, first couple games in, and, um, you know, led to a lot of confidence for me. Um, and then, you know, I had a, a lot, bit of a bigger role than I had at the University of Michigan, you know, getting power play minutes and, um, you know, playing top two lines, and um, you know, what I mean, I think that definitely, definitely helped contribute to that. Um, you know, a couple of lucky bounces here and there, and a couple of good plays from my teammates. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, a lot of it just goes back to confidence. Once you get the first couple, then they seem to come in bunches. So you, uh, you kind of want the puck in your stick at all times at that point, and that's kind of how I was feeling for for a little bit there. So that's good. You're coming to a team that has a very established roster. Great success here in terms of regular season and pile of points. That said, can you envision a path to make the varsity this year? That this this is what I could do. This is how I get there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, I'm here to make you know an NHL roster, and I mean that's been my dream ever since I was a little kid. So, um, you know, I mean, whether it's in a couple of weeks from now or if it's in a couple months from now, um, you know, I mean, all it takes is one injury and a call up, um, and then you know just give it everything you got and. You know, I hope that you're able to stick, but um, you know, I think the biggest thing for me is just going to be keeping at it no matter where I am this year, and um, you know, just playing as good as I can for, for whichever team.